Elaborate displays fill the more than 200 acres of historic Mount Olivet Cemetery, which was established in 1856. The families would often come with picnics and they would share family stories. Prominent Nashville families rest here, including my great, great, great grand father was U Major Eugene Kastner Lewis. William Goodall Lewis lives in Georgia, but says the lore of his ancestor has been passed down for generations. He was quite a socialite and, and his wife was very much a socialite and having all sorts of parties and things like that. But Lewis did much more for the city. I've seen pictures of it, but it's great to actually be here. Jennifer Richardson, acting curator of the Parthenon, explains the Nashville native born in 1845 is responsible for familiar landmarks. Even if people aren't aware of E.C. Lewis, they've been to Shelby Park, they've been to Centennial Park, they've been to Watkins Park, they've been to Hadley Park. He was involved in developing Union Station as well as being the general director at the Tennessee Centennial Exposition. Lewis attended college at the Pennsylvania Military Academy. He came back to Nashville knowing all about art and architecture as a civil engineer and very interested in the local community. Lewis passed of stomach cancer in 1970 his burial site points due north. I never heard really a story of why the pyramid, other than he was just fascinated by, by Egyptians and their architecture, because it was amazing. Just like the amazing feats he created during his lifetime. He made his legacy in, in, in a sense. I do appreciate the Nashvilleans' appreciation of his works. And in his own words, Lewis once spoke of his love for his hometown. No man deserves praise for doing his duty. If I have done anything for the park system of Nashville, I have done it as much for myself as for you. I wanted to see things grow. I wanted to see things done right. Alex Dennis, News 2.